today we are going to discuss about combustion flame combustion a chemical process in which a substance reacts with oxygen of air to give heat and light is called combustion oxygen is necessary for combustion to take place respiration is a kind of slow combustion of food which takes place in the body to produce energy rusting of iron is an example of slow combustion combustible substances those substances which can burn are called combustible substances example are paper petrol kerosene wood coal cow dung cakes diesel charcoal etc non combustible substances those substances which do not burn are called non combustible substances example are stone glass cement bricks soil sand water iron nails copper asbestos etc conditions necessary for burning presence of the combustible substance a substance which can burn presence of a supporter of oxygen that is air heating the combustible substances to its ignition temperature ignition temperature the minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire and burns is called its ignition temperature a substance will not catch fire and burn if its temperature is lower than its ignition temperature different substances have different ignition temperature example the ignition temperature of kerosene is less than the ignition temperature of wood inflammable substances substances which have very low ignition temperature and can easily catch fire with a flame are called inflammable substances example petrol alcohol lpg cng etc methods of controlling fire first by using water water is most common fire extinguisher it can be used only when materials like wood paper etc are on fire water cannot be used if electrical equipments are on fire because water conducts electricity and can harm those trying to put out the fire water cannot be used to put out oil and petrol fires because they float on water and continue to burn second by using carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is the best fire extinguisher to put out fire caused by inflammable materials like oil and petrol and electric equipments carbon dioxide is heavier than air and it covers the fire and cuts off the supply of oxygen and puts out the fire carbon dioxide is stored at high pressure as liquid in cylinders chemical like sodium bicarbonate potassium bicarbonate produces carbon dioxide near the fire forest fires the forest fire occur during the hottest summer days it is occur due to the extreme heat of summer sometimes the ignition temperature of dry grass in the forest is reached which makes the dry grass catch fire history of matchstick a short thin piece of wood having chemical coated at one end which is used to light a fire by rubbing against a rough surface is called matchstick the history of matchstick is very old about 5000 years ago small thin pieces of pine wood dipped in sulfur at one end were used as matchstick in ancient egypt the modern safety matchstick was developed only about 200 years ago how do we control fire by removing the fuel remove the heat 
cut off the air supply. Types of combustion. There are three types of combustion. Rapid combustion, spontaneous combustion, explosive combustion. Rapid combustion. The combustion reaction in which a large amount of heat and light are produced in a short time is called rapid combustion. Spontaneous combustion. The combustion reaction which occurs on its own without the help of any external heat is called spontaneous combustion. Explosive combustion. A very fast combustion reaction in which a large amount of heat, light, and sound produced is called explosive combustion. Fuels. A material which is burned to produce heat is called fuel. Example, wood, coal, gas, kerosene, petrol, diesel, etc. The three types of fuel are solid fuel, liquid fuel, gaseous fuel. These are some examples of three types of fuel. Characteristics of a good fuels. The main characteristic of a good fuel are first is readily available, second is cheap, third is easy to store and transport, fourth burns at a moderate rate, fifth produces a large amount of heat, sixth does not leave behind any undere undesirable substances, seventh does not cause pollution. Calorific value of fuel. The amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel. The calorific value of a fuel is expressed in kilojoule per kg. These are some types of, These are some types of calorific value of fuel. Flame. A flame is a region where combustion of gaseous substances take place. Some of the substances which burn by producing flames are LPG, biogas, VAC, CAM4. Oh. This is the structure of flame. Harmful effects of fuels on the environment. First, fuels like wood, coal, petroleum release unburned carbon particles which cause respiratory disease like asthma. Second, incomplete combustion of fuels release carbon monoxide gas, which is a very poisonous gas which can cause death. Burning of most fuels release carbon dioxide gas, which cause rise in the temperature of the atmosphere. This is called global warming. It causes melting of polar ice rise in sea level and flooding of coastal areas. Fourth, burning of coal and petroleum release oxides of sulfur and nitrogen which dissolve in rain. Water forms acid rain. It is harmful for crops, soil and damages building.